So this is an exciting moment. <laughs> this is uh, this new train that we're delivered here is is full of new features, and we're very excited to roll them out. Things like the destination signs with the with the color blocks, the interior destination signs have have a high resolution, and it shows you the destination, the next stop, very clear and easy to read. The steps for the high low operation are a new form of step with much more robust and reliable operation. Instead of being pneumatic steps that have air leaks, they're now electro-hydraulic steps that are contained as one unit, much easier to maintain, much more reliable, much easier to use. The doors have sensitive edges on both leaves. It's a much better system. On the inside, you'll notice that the, the train itself gives a wide appearance. You've got a wider gangway. You've got the longitudinal seating, which allows for more passengers to be standing and not getting crowded on top of the seats. The design of the train has been taken with, uh, with two key features in mind. One, lighter weight for more efficiency, but also much more reliability. We think this train will be a great addition to the wonderful city of San Francisco, and we're very proud of what we've done here, and very thankful to the Muni for all of the expert help that they've given us throughout this thing. John Haley and his team have been fantastic. So one of the great things is that this train wasn't built someplace far away and shipped in. In fact, this train left our facility in Sacramento just 80 miles up the road yesterday morning and here we are today on the first ride. It's a wonderful thing to be so close to the city. A lot of our employees, and we have a thousand employees that helped to build this train right up the road in Sacramento. A lot of them come from the area. They all know and love San Francisco and it's a, it truly is a wonderful thing to be able to build trains for right in their backyard.